Hi, and welcome to another video in the RHCSA video series. Today's video is on Manage Layered Storage, which essentially means uh, the new uh, solution within Red Hat 8, which is the Stratis um, Layered Local Storage. So Stratis is like a, a local management storage solution, um, obviously provided by the Red Hat team to enable uh, system administrators to configure advanced storage features. Uh, we've got stuff like um, pool based management so you can have um, multiple uh, block devices or uh, hard drives or whatever you want to call them um, in, in a single pool so you could then pull the resources so if you've got I don't know, 10 200 gig hard drives then you can pull them into one um, uh, two terabyte uh, drive for example uh, you can also do stuff like fin provisioning so you can envision the space and then it allows you to only grow as and when you use the space rather than the traditional method of thick provisioning where we just give it give a drive 200 gig and it uses the 200 gig and we can't use it for anything else if we wanted to later on it also allows for file system snapshots which is absolutely fantastic because I, I don't know if you've known ever before like I'm sure everyone's had that where you've deleted a file and it's lost and there's no way of getting it back um, so a snapshot is quite nice because it takes a <coughs> snapshot at the system level uh, so you can actually just revert um, revert the snapshot and you get the files back and then finally just provides some monitoring as well so it, um, it supports the XFS file system um, which is the main file system in Red Hat 8 anyway um, it currently supports stuff like logical volumes so or LVMs um, we've got you can support external hard drives, SSDs, um, iSCSI, you know, pretty much the same stuff. So the first thing, as always, is to go to the CLI. And we shall install Stratis. I don't believe it's installed by default. So let's try. DNF. Install. D Stratis CLI. So the Stratis D, the Stratis Daemon, and then Stratis well, I haven't seen that is actually the command line interface, which is great. So I get both of those installed. So check now if it's running. not started so we'll have to do that to start now we can check the status again and it's active which is great and then finally we can do a enable to make it on startup cool so that will start up and start up now which is great now um, you'll need some hard drives or virtual disks um, added to your um, virtual machine so I'm sure everyone's done that previously uh, we've done it quite a few times in the video so um, I won't run through that yet again but to do that you know just literally go into the um, options within the um, machine and and just go to the disk or volumes and then just click add and you can just add the volumes I just added a couple of um, I think it's couple of gig disks um, to the to the um, virtual machine and then we'll use that for the Stratis testing. So let's just do a clear because it's a bit messy here. So let's just do LS be okay we'll get the blocks we've got. Uh, you can see there's SDB and SDC which will be my two 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 gig split disks I've created. Uh, you can see it's quite quite nice it gives you uh, a little way shows you how the disks or partitions out. We've got two partitions on this one for example and you can see the two LVMs which the system is currently using. Let's now just double check these don't have any file systems on them which they won't have because it's brand new but you know in real life you may have used these disks for other things so we'll just double check. So SDB, nothing returned which is good and SDC. So if you do have you can just do a wipe FS minus A and then the device path. Now you can uh, 
create a stratus pool from the block device. Okay, so so we first pull the resources we've got. So stratus pool pool create pool name. Uh, we'll just give it I don't know stratus strat one uh, very un unique, and then the block device dev sdv and we can also specify multiple so dev dev sd sdc yeah look i just spot it wrong so <laughs> let's do that again ah that looks a bit better it's not returned any any output so we can um so now we can just double check and see if it's listed so strat is pull and then list and we can see strat1 has got a total size of 4 gig which makes sense because we've got two 2 gig volumes we can create the file system on the pool so if I just do a clear to bring this back up to the top here so strat is fs simple enough create pool name strat1 file system oh we'll just give it a name uh, let's just give it file system one again no no uh, return so it looks like it's good so we can do stratis fs and then list and then we can do strat one and we can see strat file system one you can see it's used in space already and um, when it's created and you you UUID, you'll need that to be able to mount the file system so Make sure you know that num number there. And as, you, as always, you can use FS tab, you know, for the mounting stuff. You can also do the LS BLK we sh showed earlier, and we can see a bit more information about the stratus. You can see it's fairly complex to mount it. It's you know the usual stuff: mount stratus, uh, stratus one, and then FS one, and then where you want to mount it to, and that'll be mounted. So it's pretty simple. And we can double check this mount is nothing in there, so it's all good. We can do df minus h to see it's there. Uh, it's a bit of a horrible output there because it's got a nice uh, long <laughs> stratus name, but yeah, so we can see it there. Um, obviously, you can, um, you know, do the usual stuff and mount that the it via fs tab. So again, just put the entry in fs tab with the UUID. Um, yeah, it's pretty pretty simple. Uh, yeah, I'll just use UUID equals UUID address, and then slash the mount point, and then XFS defaults. You know, the usual exactly the same stuff as I've done a thousand times, so I won't mention mention it again. Cool. Um, if you need to at a later point um, add a Stratis a disk to the Stratis pool. You can just literally stratus pull add data stratus pull and then the new disk so dev whatever. Okay, so I've got nothing to add at the moment, but we can easily just add that, and you can just then you could observe this this space change in stratus. list and obviously the space would change so the next thing would be to create a snapshot a stratus snapshot is the exact copy or replica of, of another stratus file system it contains the same content as the original file system however it can be later modified for differences so you can therefore you know it's a complete snapshot and you can therefore go back to it if you need to um, or you can use it as almost like a backup so it can be kept longer than the original. So to create a uh, snapshot, it's pretty straightforward. So stratis, again, it's all under this uh, command line. FS for file system, snapshot, obviously, pull, uh, so stratis for strat1, file system, FS1, and then we just give it a snapshot name. So let's call it, <laughs> let's call it snapshot1 to be simple. Uh, and that will create a snapshot. It will take about 30 seconds or so. 
Okay, so that's now completed. We can do a Stratis file system list and in the pool strat one. Okay, and you can see the snapshot there. So we've got snapshot one at this time. And it's got a different UUID, which is interesting enough. So that obviously means you can mount that if you ever needed to. So so we've got the snapshot now, so let's work out how to prefer the snapshot. Uh, so first thing would be to unmount the disk. So our mount stratis, then the uh, pool name, so strat1, and then the file system name. Okay, so let's unmount it. And then we're going to um, create a copy of, of the snapshot from the original file system. And then we're going to and then we're going to mount the snapshot, basically, the original snapshot. So let's uh, unmount, we've done the unmount already. So let's now cop the copy of these snapshots. So strat, strat is file system snapshot um, pool. So strat one file system is one. And then snapshot two. Oops, that's, doesn't matter, that's totally wrong, is it okay? So, strat is file system list. We can then see I've got two snapshots. One with the horrible misspelling of snapshot. Oh, that's by the by. Um, and now we can literally just mount the original snapshot. So we can do mount strat is strat1 snapshot one and we can put that to mount and now we've mounted the snapshot so if we want to now remove one of the older snapshots because we've got quite a few now uh, let's do first we can do a, a u mount uh, to remove this unmount this one uh, snapshot okay now let's do a file system list so we get the updated list again. So let's do a stratis file system destroy pool name stratis and then the snapshot name. So let's give it the snapshot one. Whoops. Uh, make sure you type that bit before you press enter. Let's destroy that one and we just get rid of the terrible spelling one as well. If we do file system list again, we can see it's just cleaned up the snapshots. So it's quite nice. And finally, just to uh, do a complete clean up of the system, we're going to remove the uh, Stratis file system and then finally the Stratis pool as well. And that's pretty much that. So let's let's do that. So let's remove the Stratis file system. So if you're clear, uh, you can unmount if you if you if you unmounted already, but obviously in this case we're not. Let's do a Stratis is file system destroy, and then Stratis Strat one for my one, and then that file system. Cool. And if we do a file system list, we have no file system now. Cool. So we've cleaned up the file systems. Now we're going to clean up the Stratis pool. So let's do a Stratis pool destroy. And then the pool name. So that was Strat1. And that's gone. Stratis pool list. And we're clean. Okay, and now it means we're all good. Now if we can just do a find just an ls blk, we should be back to where it was at the very start. Fantastic. So that pretty much concludes the video. Um, I'll just might again mention my um, Kofi page. Uh, if any uh, any small change you've got to uh, uh, knock to me, that would be fantastic. Uh, I've also got the um, soft advert there, which is a fantastic antivirus. 
also the um, uh, hosting of EPS, which I used to uh, practice on the go, which is also another fantastic resource. Uh, and then finally, I've actually got a, a, a clothing range now. So uh, we've got some merchandise, a small store um, on T uh, Public. So also check that out. Uh, if anything's interested you, uh, pick one up. Awesome. Thanks again for watching my videos. Uh, it's much appreciated, of course. Um, if you haven't already, like and subscribe to uh, my channel. Um, there's a notification bell just under there as well. So. Um, get notified with my new videos. Um, I still aim to complete the entire course. Um, well, yeah, thanks again for watching. Um, catch you in the next video. Cheers.